Hey everybody, on today's campground review, we are coming to you from Cottondale, Florida. Not to be confused with Cottondale, Alabama, or Peter Cottontail for that matter. So we are heading to the Hitchin Post RV Park, and the road you're coming on, we're right off of I-10, easy to get to. This road is a little bumpy. Right behind us, we didn't film, is uh, railroad tracks. Pretty level, not too bad getting across railroad tracks. So that's why we didn't film it. Just wanted you to be aware of it. Couple little relatively low hanging trees, not too bad here. So as you come up to it, don't really see it until you get to it, but this red, white, and blue fence, this is it, folks. Um, Vonda here, who's the owner, uh, she's very patriotic, loves the military, first responders, has tons of discounts um, for FMCA members, escapees, uh, military again, like I said, first responders and others so check out their website there's a link to that in the description below um, for their pricing and discounts again as always we uploaded this video using nomad internet we have very good AT&T and Verizon signal here in the park the park does offer Wi-Fi it's currently down while we're filming this so we weren't able to test it um, Vonda is working on that but she's a one-woman show here, so um, she can't get everything all the time. So as you come up to the entrance, you, real easy to figure out. You got a stop sign. You stop here, you check in. Sign here on the left tells you everything you need to know about getting checked in. There are um, horses here, obviously. Lots of walking, hiking trails, too, around here. because She was telling us about that the last time we were here. Um, there's also, here on the right-hand side, you might have caught a glimpse of the disc golf and there's also um, cornhole uh, lawn bowling and a few other activities going on around here now this campground has pull through spots back in spots and what I call here on the, the right these pull around spots I think they're pretty cool it's not a huge huge park but it's cozy and for those looking for a good place to spend a night or two on their travels on I-10, this is the place to do it. And you may have seen a person walk by in a cowboy hat. That's the owner, that's Vonda. They're always making improvements here. She works very hard to try to, to keep things going well. Very accommodating too. We came in kind of late last night and she was like, that's no problem, let us know. Now here on the right is two dog parks, one for larger dogs, one for bigger dogs. Nice fenced in dog park areas. And that road you see through the trees, hopefully, you see through the trees, that is I 10. So, but as you can see, fairly roomy spots as we're filming this in mid February. There is um, a few openings here. And it's been raining here for days is not currently raining at the moment so despite all the rain it's not too muddy or too bad um, the sites are either like hard packed gravel um, some of a, a little a, or some are asphalt the road itself is mainly hard packed gravel as well so good runoff not perfectly level our spot we stayed in when we were here back in January was pretty level we were in spot 13 we're in spot eight right now, and we just needed to put a, a one Lego on both the front and back tires on the driver's side to get level. Vonda also will show you to your site with her golf cart, and she puts out a green map for you, so that's yep. really, really welcoming. She doesn't roll out the red carpet, but she does roll out the green carpet. So there's, she does. there's a green AstroTurf um, carpet that she'll put down right where your um, steps are. So even though it may be a little muddy or grassy, dirty, whatever, on the site, you know, you at least have that little piece of AstroTurf to help clean your feet before you get in. That's why we like her personal touches. Yeah. So here's another view of the dog park here on the left with a swing to hang out in. Yeah. 
and we're gonna go ahead and just go ahead and pull into our rig there's only about 15 spots here so it's not huge and again like I said there's no like laundry facilities bathroom facilities or anything like that here so you do need to be in a self-contained RV that's it quick review this time folks because this is a small park but it's definitely well worth the stop we're not 100% sure what's going on in the Cottondale Florida area because we stayed here before it was just a quick overnight and this is not much more than a, a quick overnight we are only about 15 minutes away from the Florida Caverns um, State Park so that is something to do in the area at least and if we find anything else out to do in the area we'll put that in the description below this video as well so again as always thank you so much for watching this and if you know anybody who's looking for a place to stay off i-10 share this video with them because this is a great place to stay for a few nights and as always we'll see you at the next adventure bye